and welcome to my video. In this video, I will show how to ext extract p-values and other details from Stats Models uh, table. First, uh, let's check out our table database. So my database consists of um, age and other details of uh, of people, and then uh, it measures hearing loss in different frequencies. And here we have age. Age is our main uh, variable of interest, and we want to understand the effect of age on hearing loss in different frequencies. So we have different uh, six different uh, dependent variables. So to uh, 250. 500, 1000, 2000, 4000, and 8000. Therefore, we will have six different uh, models. So the purpose purpose here uh, in this video is to uh, run um, the six models uh, with the for loop and the take p-values with uh, using for loop and then put them together and then compare models. Uh, I will use the simple stats uh, models uh, reg regression so to to build a model. And here in the first model, I use uh, hearing loss 250, so as an uh, as a dependent variable, and independent variable, as I said just before, is uh, age. So when we run this model, we get nice uh, summary table, and we have all deta details, regression details, and the purpose here is to get to this cell, and this cell uh, has information of uh, p-values. So here uh, I, I will use a summary, but I will use summary 2 and summary 2 is a little bit different than regular summary and summary uh, 2 has different uh, data type, uh, gen generates different um, data type. Therefore, it's, it's better and it fits better for our task and task is almost the same uh, table, but the format of the table is different than before. So, and when we uh, specify tables here, and we get to this uh, table. And this table gives us uh, all column names. And if we specify column name P, we get P value. So there are two P values. One is in the uh, P value of uh, an independent variable, and second is uh, a P value of our intercept. So we are interested in the first one, uh, p-value of an independent variable. Therefore, we need to specify index. So the first index of the first one is zero. So we have p-value. And this is a small portion of my uh, database. So the first one is our independent variable and others are dependent variables. And there we will have six different models. So, but here it's important to understand locations of, of my columns because uh, columns of dependent variables because it's this information is needed to construct a for uh, loop. So uh, my uh, dependent variables they start from uh, seven, so column index seven, and they go until th uh, thirteen. The last one is twelve. So when we run this, and we can just take as uh, so it will take the columns uh, from this pos between these positions between seven, including seven uh, and thirteen, excluding thirteen. So, and this information, we'll use this information to construct for loop. And now let's create a for loop. And for loop, uh, we say for i in range 1, 7. We say 7 because it excludes the uh, last one. So we want to go uh, including until and including 6. So we already have the model here. We take the, this one. Now we need this location information. So what is this location information? How do we use this? So here I uh, would want to keep, um, we want to change and update our dependent variable. Then we add a location here, but we want to, uh, independent dependent variable column should be one column, not data frame. So we want to enter here a column, uh, column index uh, number. So column index number of the first one is seven. So it starts from seven starts from seven therefore here I, will, I write six plus i so first one is seven it goes under 13 and the last one in the range the last, last number in the range is six so six plus six twelve it takes the last dependent variable and then we take a p-value uh, code so here we add this code to p-value
and we need also need to create empty list because you want to update the list and give all uh, results to that empty list. And we append p-value. to this empty list. Now we can run the loop. And let, let's check this list, whether it has values. Yes, it has six values because you have six, six different models and six different p-values. And uh, now next is uh, to get uh, to understand uh, so dependent variables of these models because we don't know. Uh, I mean, first one is the first dependent variable, and therefore, I mean, we don't know location. And we want to get values, a column name, names of each dependent variable, and then put them uh, together in one um, data frame. So here, uh, so we, of course, we get data frame, but if you write colon, so we will get uh, names of those columns. And so we have names of all dependent variables. Now let's call them values. And now uh, we can put values and p-values together and create a nice data frame. and check data frame here yes we have nice data frame and we know the p-value of age uh, where dependent variable is here in loss 250 and 200, uh, 500 thousand 2000 4000 and 8000 but these numbers are small we cannot compare p-values of uh, age in different models and therefore um, next i will multiply create a new um, column in this frame and multiply these small p-values by minus log 10 and I use a uh, numpy log 10 and multiply it minus 1 so it creates new column and we have new column and we have numbers here and this p is the highest among all uh, models and this I, I reverse it by uh, multiplying by the minus 1 Therefore, it gets a smaller number. So smaller number means uh, denotes the worst model. Um, so here in this model, H has higher uh, p-value, which is which makes it less significant. So we can then next uh, plot these values and to understand which one uh, is better than other others. Here, the smallest one is uh, here in loss 500, as we see here is two. So it's two. And this model uh, model is less significant. Effect of age in this model is less significant than others. Then age has um, the best significance uh, in the model where dependent variable is here in loss uh, four thousand. And this is how we create uh, automation follow up to extract regression results uh, in stats models uh, Python. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in other uh, videos.